Okay then, okay then guys, let's have a look at 22. Let's write the augmented matrix in 3, minus 1, 1, uh, 0, 1, 3, minus 1, 4, 5, 5, minus 1 and 8. There we go. So what have we got then? Let's do, uh, there's our first row. And then we've got row 2, th 3 lots of row 2. So we've got 3 lots of uh, row 2. Minus row 1. Okay, then 3 of these, take 1 of those. 3 take 3 is 0. 3 of these is 9. Take 1 times 1 minus 1 is plus 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. 3 of these, take 1 of those. So minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. 3 of these is 12. Take nothing is 12. And then for the 5, we're going to have to do 5 of these, 3 of these, 3 row 3s. Take away 5 row 1s, isn't it? So 3 of these, take 5 of those is 15. Take 15, which is 0. Uh, 3 of these, 15, take away 5 of those is plus 5. 15 plus 5 is 20. Uh, 3 of these, minus 3, take away 5 is minus 8. Yeah, and 3 of these, take away 5 is 24. Okay, good. So now we'll get rid of the 20. So we've got 3, minus 1, 1, naught. 0, 10, minus 4, 12. And then we can do row 3, take 2 row 2s. So row 3, take away 2 row 2s. 0, take 0 is still 0. Uh, 20, take 2 of those is 20 is 0. Minus 8, take away 2 of minus 4 is plus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 is 0. 24, take 2 12s is 24, minus 24 is 0. So we can go back up here. Well, everything's okay now. That's good. So we've gone from three equations and three unknowns to here. We've still got our three unknowns. We've got two equations. These, this side is linearly independent. So again, we've got two planes. So we've got 3x minus y plus z equals naught, And we've got 10y minus 4z equals 12. Okay, so a solution is a line. So let, let's parameterize that line then by letting z equal lambda. Okay, if z equals lambda, then we can find out the x and y values when z is lambda and see how we go along the line. So let's do that then. So z is lambda, so 10y will equal 12 plus 4z. And that's 12 plus 4 lambda, isn't it? So that tells us then y. Divide by 10, you'll have 12 plus 4 lambda over 10. And you can cancel by 2 top and bottom. 6 plus 2 lambda over 5. There we go, there's y. Let's give ourselves a bit more room. And now we'll get x as well, shall we? Okay, so the x then from here, this line here. So 3x plus, no, sorry, minus y plus z equals naught. So that tells us then that 3x is equal to y. Move the y over. Move the z over, it flips the sign as well. So we've got y minus z. y is equal to... 12 plus 4 lambda over 10. I'm going to write that one down. It's going to be 12 over 10 plus 4 lambda over 10 minus the z minus lambda. So divide by 3 all the way through then. You're going to get 4 over 10, which is you can write as 2 fifths, I suppose. And then here, uh, 2 fifths divide by 3 is, oops, that was 6 over 5, but you're dividing by 3, so it's 15. Oh no, sorry. Alright, because I divided by 3 at the top, didn't I? 6. And, and then, see, I'm trying to do too much in one fell swoop here. Divide by 3 is 4 over 30, which is 2 over 15. 
so it's 2 over 15 uh, lambda at minus lambda. So that's equal to 2 fifths. 2 fifteenths minus 1 is minus 13 over 15 lambda. That's x. So then what have we got? x equals 2 fifths minus 13 fifteenths of lambda. y is equal to 6 fifths plus 2 lambda over 5. And then z was equal to lambda. There we go. There's the uh, solution set now at the end of the problem. Okay then, uh, that's uh, 22 done then. Made a bit of a meal of it at the end, didn't I? But uh, we got there in the end, I think. Okay, and it, it just illustrates that there was a solution, um, infinite set of solutions, uh, which can be parametrized. And they're represented by the intersection of two non-parallel planes. So, you know, have a line in 3D space. Okay, good.